Hey, hello there everybody, this is Filament Corner, Corner of Filament, Corner of Fun, and I figured today it's about time I did a review on the Micro Swiss kit, which includes lever, extruder plate, and the full kit also includes all the screws and the spring for attaching to your stepper motor. So, I did do a video where I took it out of the pack packaging and I attached it to this stepper motor. It's been about a month and I've been swapping between this plate and a different plate which has actually led to me knowing some things that I wouldn't have known otherwise. So, right off the bat we have a PTFE tube in there. This tube slides in easily and this presses up against the cold end so this cannot just pop out and it cannot come out the other end so it's securely held in place. You use this whenever you're using flexible filaments so I've actually printed flexible filaments and well this is going to be a bit of a spoiler whenever it comes to me doing a review on this but I have let's zoom this out I have made this I printed this off with it about a 12 hour print not the best, I still have to adjust some settings on the filament. But this is the um, Solutech Flexible. It was supposed to be white, but that was actually PLA. But I got it fixed. And now it's yellow, but that does not matter. What matters is it's flexible. And the extruder plate worked. It focus. It worked. It, pr it printed it out. Now, I am using the stock drive gear that comes with the version 2 of the one house. So, if you're using a different drive gear, you may get different results. Possibly. But it works fine with this. Now, so the positives on this that I, I feel are positives is this is aluminum or aluminium it's going to last a lot longer than the plastic stock ones it's also got this filament flexibility I guess you could call it enhancement and your leveling arm is also metal so it's not going to break as easily as the stock plastic one I had the stock one break like two months in and the plate was cracked so I don't even have the plate anymore but um, I showed this off I'm pretty certain in the last video it's been about a month but you know here's a plastic one I printed out that also has a flexible mod that you stick a PTFE tube into and this, this worked great but you can see the lines right there from the um, long term this is this was failing thanks to that bearing starting to dig into the plastic with this much longer lifespan now I mean I guess you could say it looks nice although we're really going for function over aesthetics or at least I am now if you notice the um, the hardware holding this together is different from the hardware that I unbox well unpackaged in the first video and that's because well I found out from swapping this one over frequently with another plate that well the, that that screw specifically that one that come with it was not that good of quality with repeated unscrewing and rescrewing it back in it was starting to strip 
And that was the problem I had with the original screw holding this leveling arm on there. So I'm thinking maybe they're using close to the exact screw as what come on stock. Now obviously if you're if you put this on and leave it, it's gonna be fine. But if you're experimenting swapping back and forth, it's gonna wear it out quicker. So I swapped back to my original hardware that I, I cut that screw after my original stripped out and it's been working fine so the I mean the hardware may not be the best it does come with another spring though which is great in case you lose that one but you're, you're not really buying the kit for the screws and springs you're buying it because it's cheaper to buy these two together and then to buy them separately or at least it was a month ago now some of the cons well probably the major con is and I'm not the only one I've had trouble feeding hard filaments into this with the PTFE tube installed and I saw some posts on the one how Facebook group of other people having problems feeding hard filament in while this tube is installed flexible it feeds right in but we've had um, hard filaments not want to go in I've had it where it starts twisting around the drive gear instead of going straight into the extruder I've tried cutting it at an angle and at first it wasn't working although yesterday I managed to get it feed I, I got it to feed perfectly cutting it at an angle so that may be a solution to that or if you're not planning on running flexibles and you just want a long duty plate and arm just don't put that in we've had no problems feeding hard filaments in with that PTFE tube out so that is one con is we've been having a bit of trouble with that and it may just be a learning experience on how to feed it in properly to get that feel on how to properly insert it because this I had no problem feeding any filament into this it took anything just fine but this one it's been giving me a little bit of trouble like I said though yesterday I managed to feed it in once and it went straight in after managing to get a nice sharp angle and managing to insert it in but maybe two three months down the road I'll be inserting it in just fine off the time it could just be a learning experience so overall I say that if you want one that's longer lasting I would suggest picking this one up. There are, I'm sure there's plenty of other ones on um, eBay or Amazon, but I mean this one it's under it's under 30 bucks for all of this, and it it does actually have support. So if some of this comes in, like you come in and like this bearing is broken or out you can contact micro swiss and get a new one so this does have some customer support if you need that it's always good to have that option than no support at all so with that said if you are wanting a long term upgrade that, that you're not really going to mess with. Maybe you'll unscrew it, stick the tube in whenever you want to do flexibles. Then yeah, I'd, I'd suggest picking this up as a kit. Now, if you've already got this arm, this plate is only around $13. So, you can just pick up the plate, combine it with the arm, and be good to go. So, that was basically my review and to finally sign it off I will
show off a hard filament print. So here he is in all of his glory. A hairy lion. Printed in PLA using that extruder gear and that's for a another video that I will be making soon. You can see the coloration. That's for another video. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful in deciding if you wanting if you want to purchase any of these components. And as I said in the last video, Micro Swiss did send this for review. No money was traded hands, however, I was sent this free for review. So I want to make sure that's clear. And with that said, I am going to call this video a wrap.